In this video, we will use Pythagoras' theorem to solve problems. Remember that Pythagoras' theorem tells us that in a right angle triangle, as shown in the diagram here, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Knowing this formula, we can find out the length of any side of a right angle triangle as long as we know the length of the two other sides. Let me show this to you using two examples. In example 1, we have a right angle triangle with perpendicular sides of length 6mm and 8mm. What we need to do is to find out what the length of hypotenuse, in this case, C, is. Using Pythagoras' theorem, we find that 6 squared plus 8 squared equals C squared. Now, we always need to write down the reason why you say something is so. Here, we claim that 6 squared plus 8 squared equals c squared because of Pythagoras' theorem. As we use this theorem here, we will need to write it in brackets at the end of this equation. Then, solving this, we find that c squared equals 100. Since c is a length and must be positive, we now know that c is 10 millimeters. In other words, we found the length of a hypotenuse as 10 millimeters. Now in example 2, we have an imaginary map with two points on it, A and B. We are told that the distance between the two points is 13 kilometers. We are also told that point A is 5 kilometers east of point B. What we want to find out is how many kilometers north point A is from point B. Let us call this distance x kilometers. First, notice that as north and east are perpendicular, this forms a right angle triangle. Because this is a right angle triangle, we can use Pythagoras' theorem here. So, here the hypotenuse is 13 kilometers and the perpendicular sides are x and 5 kilometers long. Hence, applying Pythagoras' theorem, x squared plus 5 squared equals 13 squared. Remember that we always need to write in brackets Pythagoras' theorem right afterwards, as this is a reason for the formula. Solving this, we find that x squared equals 144. Since x is a distance, we can say that x equals 12 kilometers, as x must be a positive number. Thus, we can therefore say that point A is 12 kilometers north of point B. Hopefully you now understand how to use Pythagoras' theorem to solve problems. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.